Yo, what's up guys? This is Astronox and I'm back with another Epic 7 gameplay video and uh, I am doing uh, Wyvern Stage 6. My team is uh, Destina in the front line, Got says in the back line, um, Elsen and the Terranor Guard. So says and the Terranor Guard are both eyes. Elson is uh, light and Destina is earth. The monsters in here are uh, fire, so they uh, mostly attack Destina, which which is set in the front line. So she's the tank. But if you're fighting, like if I was fighting, let's say. Uh, Earth. Earth would be attacking uh, Sez and Tyranor Guard quite often, but uh, because I got uh, I got the element that the the Wyvern counters on her, well, she she's uh, getting focused most of the time. Now, the thing is, if this dragon is not debuffed, he's gonna wreck you. This ability, fire bread, that's his normal at attack, and uh, he uh, he shoots the the fire bread, and then that does damage, and it applies a uh, debuff damage over time. Poison for two turns, so yeah, he attacks twice. That's huge burst damage. Plus, you got the damage over time on you. No, he's gonna do it. Ah. Like when I manual, I can speed this up. So when his uh, when his second skill uh, when it fills up, that means he needs to do uh, after his fourth turn. He does this barrier on himself. But well, it's fine. Uh, I can break through it. But if you don't do uh, if you don't break it, what happens is uh, the boss goes crazy and basically uh, destroys your whole team. So I don't use sky stones for uh, summoning. I only summon uh, with the the summon bookmarks. They're not called summon bookmarks, but they're... I forgot what they're called. They're something bookmarks. Uh, I don't I, I don't summon using the, the in-game currency. I'm free to play and uh, I'm gonna keep all that... Uh, all those sky stones for refilling my energy. So I can uh, get better gear. Well, not only that, get gold get gear which uh, like gear that is not good uh, I keep so, so far I'm keeping the the gear but uh, I might sell like half of them if 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 there's a good item I'm gonna lock it I keep it and uh, all the uh, like the, this is stage uh, six so T3, T4, and T5 can drop here. The drop rate for T5 is like very low though. It's the first stage where T5 starts dropping. Um, T3 blues, well they're not called blues, they're called uh, rare. Let me write this down here. Those are rare, the blue. Purple, those are hero heroic. And red is epic. So T3 rare is uh, 2100 gold. T4 rares are 2800 gold. T3 heroic are 3150 gold. T4 heroic 
or 4,200 gold and T5 uh, rare or 5,000 gold. <laughs> I only got one T5, it's a, it's a rare, that's it. I mean, I did not do too many runs here so far. I've been running the uh, the stage five with uh, with heroes that I wanted to level uh, like level up, mostly fathers. But uh, from what I'm seeing, leveling your heroes is not the uh, the problem in this game. It's uh, promoting them. Uh, because you need an insane amount of uh, fathers to create a six star hero. You need. Alright, here it is. You need 300 two stars to make a six star. But if you, ha if you already have a five star and you want to uh, promote it to six star. It's going to take you 242 stars. 242 stars. If you... Uh, where did I write this down? One second. I got so many sticky notes on my desk. That, is that it? No, that's the crafting. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, uh, to craft a uh, tier 5 epic with all buildings uh, leveled up, 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Uh, so a T5 epic is going to cost you 421,000 gold on average. And uh, it's totally random what uh, what stats you're gonna get, what the main stat is gonna be, and what the sub stats are gonna be. So you might get an item that you can wear on the like the boots, because the only stuff that's gonna drop from here is not the jewelry, not the ring or the necklaces. It's only the boots. But boots like if they don't have speed, attack percentage, uh, health percentage defense percentage like if it's a flat stat beside the uh, besides speed it, it's garbage you need you need to to sell it or use it as uh, uh, you just feed it into another uh, pair of boots that you tr you're trying to level so I wrote down here oh yeah if you want to buy the uh, two star fathers from the secret shop those are 29,000 gold each and uh, just queue up the next one here oh yeah if you buy the the fathers in the secret shop <coughs> to uh, <coughs> change a four star character into a five star you're gonna need 48 two stars so that's 1.4 million gold I mean 1.4 million gold it's not too bad I guess has to make a five star but I mean making making a six star did I write down all this stuff or no I feel like I'm missing something <clears throat> oh there it is yeah 240 because I said 242 stars to upgrade a 5 star into a 6 star if you buy the fathers from the secret shop it's gonna cost you <laughs> 7 million gold like 7 million gold is crazy let me tell you that how, how long it takes to farm 7 million gold and how much sky stones it's gonna cost you to refill your uh, uh, your energy 3000 sky stones uh, running wyvern stage 6 
So every one sky stone is equal to two energy. So 3,000 sky stones is 6,000 energy. Uh, it's 10 energy per run, so 600 runs. 600 runs if we're averaging 10,000 gold uh, per run is six, uh, 6 million gold. And you're gonna get like 6,000 stigma as well. But if you're selling the drops, I average the drop to be about 2,000 gold per run. Uh, thing is, you're gonna keep some stuff and you're gonna keep... That's the thing though, you, you've got to, let's say, keep a portion to enhance uh, whichever item you're gonna use. So you can't just sell everything. And I don't know about uh, those the, the charms that give a ton of uh, experience for your cost, like your items. Those, you cannot just farm like... Well, actually, you can farm them, yes. When you go in battle at the bottom right, there's a special stages that open every two days on a rotation. And they do drop uh, the experience uh, material. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some math for that stuff. But uh, let's say you, you get 2,000 gold extra from selling the items. Uh, I don't know, I'm added it to be 7.5 million gold. Uh, after running this uh, for 3,000 sky stones uh, worth of refills. I'm not accounting for uh, energy that gets refilled over time. Uh, I'm just purely converting sky stones into energy and then runs and then like uh, gold stigma and uh, yeah you, you're there's the materials that drop here to craft tier 5 items but uh, did some math over here So crafting uh, tier 5 items in the uh, the forge or whatever it's called, uh, initially it's 72,000 gold plus 50 materials. Now if you upgraded uh, to 333, it's 50,400 gold. It's down from 72,000 to 50,400 gold. And it, instead of 50 materials, it's 35 materials. Now if you do 600 runs, that's 7.5 million gold. Which means... 100, it's gonna give you 148.8. Let's say it's 150 crafts. And uh, you're gonna need a bit over 5,000 materials. 5,208. Uh, but like <clears throat> if you get those 150 crafts down which you won't because the, the rate you're getting uh, the materials to uh, craft the tier 5 uh, items is quite low like the, the amount you're getting here uh, you're gonna get close to on average 18 tier 5 epics out of all that gold but for you, you need the building maxed out though because when the building is maxed the, the one on the left side uh, reduces the price by 30%. The one in the middle upgrades the rate for uh, uh, the rarity of the items you're gonna create. And on the right side, it's 30% reduction for the materials. So yeah, um, if you decide to go crafting, uh, you're probably gonna have to reset uh, to get your uh, Orbis, uh, Heart of Orbis, or whatever they're called, back. It seems to be... What is it? Uh, it's 200,000 gold per points that you, you're trying to get back. So yeah, you've got to... The best thing is to just have them into the, the building that generates uh, currency. The middle one you max, the right one uh, I maxed it. And the one on the left, I put one point in, so like when I'm sleeping or let's say uh, I'm not picking up my stuff. This is a uh, defense tier four. The substats are 
all the kind of substats you want, like speed, effect resistance, and attack all percentage based, and defense percentage. That's that's usable. Unfortunately, we cannot lock items from uh, here or sell them. I guess it's only a matter of time, but it doesn't matter because the filtering system is amazing in this game. Uh, so yeah, uh, crafting to me is not worth it. I feel, I feel like crafting is when you're gonna be in mid game, because right now we're like very early game, guys. Uh, I think, I think early game, if we're comparing this game to let's say a game like Summer of War, early game is pretty much you reach the last stage, uh, you reach stage 10. Uh, when you enter mid game is basically you've got Wyvern, Golem, and Banshee stage 10 on farm, right? And the Abyss Tower you probably have it cleared. Now, when you uh, when you're like midway in mid game, you're basically um, you're basically doing speed runs of stage 10. Basically, you're taking out the healer in your team. And just going crazy and uh, trying to down the uh, the boss as fast as possible you might not have a hundred percent success rate on your runs but yeah but people that are gonna be doing that are gonna be spending in the game because I, I just did some math too for like the sky stones that I have is 5,000 and 5,000 is gonna like if I run this game uh, let's say 12 hours per day like in a matter of five days I could be out. I could be out of Skystone. Well, was was that it? If if these runs are taking like three minutes, which it looks like it might be taking three minutes, it's that's about right. Like in a matter of, like with my energy replenishment and uh, let's say you're getting energy from PvP uh, conquest points, you're getting energy from the friend uh, uh, the friendship points. Uh, and you're getting uh, leaves which are converted into energy and all that good stuff, advance and all that. Okay, you can stretch it to a week of hardcore playing. And yeah, I think I would be out already. And of course, after, I don't know how long it would take, but right now I went in stage uh, 7, right, of uh, the Wyvern. And his speed is faster than my speed. I wrote this down somewhere. Wyvern stage 7 has over 132 speed. Because uh, my Elson has 132 speed and the Wyvern went first. What does that mean? Well, it means that... I Because speed set actually drops from here, so that's good. But it looks like I might have to put everyone on speed. Uh, so yeah. Because Elson has not a guaranteed debuff, right? So that means the boss is going to double uh, double uh, flame breath on me and just take someone out. Unless I can tank it, but I don't like this uh, I don't like this RNG. That doesn't sound like a 100% success rate. So let's say I get my, my whole team, let's say it's, I don't know, 135 speed. I have to get my whole team above that or I have to use uh, someone that boosts the, uh, the turn bar. So I can uh, just need that buffer to go first and then like I got my whole team going. And Sez has pretty much a 100% success rate on his debuff. Uh, so that's good. I mean, the, it's a healing debuff, but doesn't matter. Uh, Tyranor Guard has 50% chance to defense down. Uh, he's really strong. I'm going to do a, a guide uh, maybe tomorrow for him. He, he's amazing. Tyranor Guard, very free to play friendly, 3 star. I actually just summoned him for free yesterday uh, for my daily uh, daily summon. Really good stuff, really good stuff. As soon as I got him, like, because I, I knew uh, his uh, his skills, so I just immediately got him to five star because I knew he was uh, he was a beast, and my goal was to farm Wyvern. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, what else is there that I want to talk about? I, I've got to go, but. Mm, yeah, now now I was doing some math for uh, doing some math for adventure versus uh, hunt for like hunt uh, wyvern stage six, six let's say. Now 
Adventure is definitely the best thing if you want to get fathers. Uh, you're getting uh, friendship points, which are converted into uh, uh, friendship uh, bookmarks that you can summon with, and you get uh, fathers. Check my uh, the video that I made just before this one. It's about maximizing how many uh, friendship points you get, and it, it's a huge part of getting fathers in this game, guys. Especially if you're free to play, you've got to uh, to check it out if you want to uh, to min max or. Uh, uh, yeah, because I'm not getting fodders from here, and I'm not gonna. I'm stopping buying fodders from the secret shop, the two star uh, heroes. Uh, so I've got to farm adventure for fodders, and from what I'm uh, hearing, it's one one two star that drops every three runs. So uh, yeah, uh, you get more gold by farming adventure. Uh, because if you're thinking like secret shop uh, two stars it's almost like you're getting 10,000 gold extra per run if if you're counting like okay I'm getting a father every uh, three runs and then on top of the gold you're getting this the stigma is pretty comparable to what just dropping here I was getting nine stigma in the uh, hard 1-10 and uh, it depends it varies that's the thing the gold is not consistent in there uh, you've got to like find a stage that that is just good that has like a, a chest that pops up often but that that's hard to mat all this stuff guys because you've got the urgent mission the bounty and those uh, you can get some really good stuff like you, you can get the uh, uh, an urgent mission with a gold chest and the gold chest could get you a tier 4 uh, heroic piece, piece right there and uh, you could gear out that way and uh, you're farming fathers or rare materials at the same time getting some 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 small amount of gear because uh, most of the time you're gonna get uh, gray or uh, or green uh, I like items which you're not gonna be using you're gonna be mostly selling those or using them to enhance other items anyways I've got to go that is a lot of stuff <laughs> a lot of information I uh, hope you guys learned something out of all this. <clears throat> it sure did enlighten me uh, in the regard of uh, farming and uh, proper usage of my sky stones. But yeah, of course, the higher you, you farm in the stages in the Wyvern, Golem, or, or Banshee, it's going to be more efficient in terms of gold. Uh, like All you're getting is just going to be better gonna get higher tier items which sells sell for more and you're gonna get more gold uh, to drop and more stigma probably but yeah uh, it just like I said it feels like experience is not a problem in this game fathers are so getting two star heroes is the key to success if you want to six star your whole team but it's gonna take a ton of those all right what else is there I think that's it that's it guys so thanks for watching i'm astronox like comment and subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next video peace out for now